this is where I left you last time. I'm just coming off of the River Trent and onto the Arrowwash Canal. Well, let's continue our journey up the Arrowwash Canal. I understand it's a little rural, but let's find out for ourselves. Let's see if there's any nice places we'd like to film. We are, of course, first confronted with Trent Lock outside the Steamboat Inn. This is one hell of a leaky lock. I've got the gate paddle and the ground paddle opened on one side and it won't fill it. I've gone around to the other side, opened up the gate paddle and the ground paddle, and I thought, well, it's full now, I can just move the gate. I dropped them back both down again, and I couldn't open the gate, it was leaking so much. So I had to reopen them again so I could leave the lock. I'm moored up here at Trent Lock on the start of the Arrowwash Canal. It's time to carry on up the canal. Quite unusual to see houseboats on a canal. These, of course, are permanently moored, but they are actually quite big, and there's no way they could have been actually dragged here off the river through the lock. So they must have been craned in at some point in time because they're longer in the lock, and some of them are very tall, so they would never have got under the bridge into the lock. Anyway. I'll film a few of them as we go by. A nice way to live on the water. We have a boatyard here coming up on the left hand side with dry dock facilities. Just look how gin clear the water is here. With the water being so clear, you get good plant growth also in the canal, which is great for the fish, not so great for boats. This is something you don't see very often on canals. You see them all the time on rivers. This is a flood lock. I'm assuming it's in place in case the river Trent floods so much as to stop it going beyond here into the towns above. Looking down here, it looks like there's a boatyard here and Long Eaton Cruising Club was down here. What it was originally, I don't know. I'm guessing it was at Loading Wharfs. Well, this is a sharp zigzag bend coming underneath the road bridge here.
And here we have the Sea Scouts hut here, their boat outside. They obviously don't like visitors. Just listen to the warning siren I get as I go past in a moment. I'm all moored up now here at Bridge 6 at Long Eaton. That big chimney there is part of what's called Bridge Mill. The mill is obviously no longer a mill. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Might even be in the next video. Not sure yet. So here we are. Lovely, lovely sunny day. All moored up. We go up to the bridge and we walk up the steps. We go right, we've got, there's a Tesco's and an Asda up there. Very good butcher in the town, most shops, wheel coats and all sorts. We go to the left, there's a boat so you might like to know. There's a laundriette up there about half a mile away, not too far to walk. And there's a fish and chip shop. Let's come to that part of the video. I want of course to thank all my Patreon, PayPal, and super thanks supporters of the channel. Your help really does keep this going. I really mean that. Without your help, I'm not quite sure how much longer I'll be able to bring these videos to you. Of course, your help is also by watching the videos. Because, as you know, my videos are monetized and you have to watch a commercial before you see them. So that all helps to keep this channel going, I can assure you. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. That really helps the channel along in the YouTube algorithms promoting my channel. And hit that old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna go under bridge six when I leave here in the morning. And I'm gonna wind, according to the CRT website, there's a winding hole just the other side. So that's really ideal for me. I need to get back down to the start of the canal and meet someone at the Trent Lock uh, in a couple of days. So, winding here will be perfect. What can possibly go wrong? You'll find out if you watch this video to the end. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. Well, this here on the CRT website is listed as a winding hole. I certainly can't wind in it, I just tried, I'm about 10 foot too long, so perhaps if we're only about 50 foot long you might get round in it. This is Bridge Mill here, no longer a mill of course. A lot of it has been re-renovated and is now the home to many small companies.